Welcome to 501 Math, where we work smart, not hard. In today's problem, we're given this rectangle, and inside are three circles of radii 16 centimeters, 9 centimeters, and 8 centimeters. With those three pieces of information, we're asked to determine the area of the triangle. Pause the video here, give it a try. Let's see if you get it right. So, first off, we want to find the area and we know that it's a rectangle, therefore it is the length times the width. So what is the length? What is the width? Well, first off, we can find the width rather easily. If that large circle fits in, right inside of the rectangle, then the two radii, which are 16 and 16 respectively, will mean that the width will be 32, which is 16 times 2. Now, the length. How can we find the length? Well, that part will be uh, more difficult for sure. Follow me here as we go through it. So first, we're going to zoom in towards these two circles. Then let's put in some construction lines. Like first off, we know that that is a radius of that circle, so that is also 9. Then this distance is made out of the 9, which is the radius of that smaller circle, and that 16, which is the radius of that larger circle. That side there, which is parallel to the length of the rectangle, we're going to need to find that. That's our x. Then here, we know that entire part is 16, but that small part is 9, because that is parallel to the 9 from the smaller circle. Then, if that is 9, 9 from 16 leaves us with 7. So when we look at our right angle triangle that we have constructed, we have that the hypotenuse is 16 plus 9, which is 25. So we have the 7, the 25, and the x, which we will substitute into Pythagoras' theorem. So x squared plus 7 squared is equal to 25 squared. 7 squared is 49, 25 squared is 625. We transpose and subtract, we get that x squared is 576. Therefore, x will be the square root of 576, which is 24. Next, we're going to focus on the smallest circle and the medium circle. Similarly, we're going to make constructions as follows. That side there will be 32 minus the 9 at the top and the 8 at the bottom, which leaves us with 15. And so we're looking for our x at the bottom, but the hypotenuse is 17, which was the 8 plus the 9. So again, using Pythagoras' theorem, we get that x is the square root of 64, which is 8. Looking at the big picture, the length will be 16 plus the first distance of 24 that we found, plus that second distance of 8, plus one last distance of 8, which is the radius of the smallest circle. So 16 plus 24 plus 8 plus 8 gives us that the length is 56. Back to the original problem, what is the area of the rectangle? Well, we know area is length times width, and we just found the area to be 56, and previously the width was 32. So 56 times 32 gives you that the answer is 1,792 square centimeters. And if you found this video useful or you liked it, please hit that like button, share with others, and subscribe if you're new here.